Another season has come and gone. To think that it was going to be that entertaining all the way until the end at the season's start would have been, you know, just insane, especially after, like, last year and how at Daytona you had a dominant car. And even, like, not even, you know, that long ago, like, halfway through the season, like, even after seeing Kevin Harvick dominate everything else anyway, just endlessly, he should have probably had ten wins this season. Um, so, obviously, Kevin Harvick has won the 2014 championship, and honestly... He's deserved a championship, at least, at some point in his career. Not after, like, 2008 to 2011. That happening was kind of a black mark on his career and should not be forgotten as far as his career is concerned because that was not pretty. That was a couple of years that, you know, would is something that even Martin Truex Jr. would have been better than this year, so, ugh, ugh, those were a rough couple of years, but anyway, at least back in, like, 2005 or 2006, he could have deserved a title, and honestly, he's been running championship caliber the entire year, the only reason anyone's salty is because Jeff Gordon was knocked out, that's the only reason anyone's salty about this whole setup, if Jeff Gordon had gotten in, no one would be complaining, no one would be complaining, I'm dead serious. So many people hate Ryan Newman now, and that sucks. Because Ryan Newman's, like, nice sometimes. Obviously. I did not predict this to happen. I went all in on Hamlin the whole season. The whole season. When I heard that the last race was going to be decided on even ground at Homestead, I was like, Denny's going to win. And if he'd only pitted, why'd he stay out? He was ahead of Harvick. His pit crew had been getting it done all day. I don't think there was a single time that Danny Hamlin went into the pit stops ahead of Kevin Harvick and came out behind Kevin Harvick. Why didn't he pit? Oh, why didn't he pit? Oh. That being said, he would have won the race if it weren't for JJ fucking Yaley, the goddamn loser. Why isn't Ryan Truex in that car? I don't have internet, so I can't look at this stuff when I'm thinking about it. Why isn't Ryan Truex in that car? JJ fucking Yaley. Screwing people over since 2006. Or was it five? No, it's 2006. Yeah, it was 2006. I'm stupid. I don't even know my own number. Um, because when that caution came out, I was like, it's done. Harvick wins. It's done. It, they don't have a chance. Harvick was right there on that one restart. And even on that next restart, it was like, you know, why even bother? Just let the race run itself out. Kevin Harvick won. I'd say Ryan Newman gave a valiant effort at the end, but... You no, know, he was in a Chevy. What else did you expect? He was going to have power. So... The way this plays out is the second 
to worst case scenario. There was only one way that this could have been worse, and that's if Joey Logano won the championship. Joey Logano did not win the championship, therefore this is only the second worst possibility. It can only get one step worse, but at least it was not one step worse. Considering what was happening over the course of time, oh my god. Jeff Gordon leading the whole time. <sighs> um, Logano not screwing up until the end. Oh. Kevin Harvick looking like he's going to win the championship. Oh. I don't even know what I'm watching, but anyway. I hate my life. Um, let me tell you why this is the second to worst case scenario. I don't like Kevin Harvick. Especially since 2007. I liked it before then. But then 2007 Daytona 500 happened. And it was out the door for Harvick. He could, could have gotten back my good graces if he'd beaten Jimmy Johnson in 2010, but we don't know how that turned out. And he's only gotten more annoying since. He's had consistently dominant cars. And if you've been watching these reviews for at least a good quarter, of the season. You'd know my opinion on dominant cars. The cars that can just sit up front and go, mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. pacing the field for 200 laps. How entertaining. Oh, and by the way, Larson didn't win again. I don't even care anymore. Ryan Newman had his opportunity to become my favorite driver by beating Kevin Harvick tonight by any means necessary. But he didn't. But he didn't. Okay, let me tell you why this is the second worst case scenario for reals this time. Kevin Harvick has five wins on the season. Five wins on the season. If Ryan Newman had won this championship, and you know how it played out in the end, it would have required him to win. So, with one win on the season, do you know what that would have done to the chase? It would have been gone. It would have been gone. The chase would have been gone if Ryan Newman won this race. But Kevin Harvick had five wins and probably should have had ten. The chase isn't going away. Oh, the chase is not going away anytime soon. And this should be a good thing. The last ten races of the season were fantastic. They were worth watching. You know what? Everyone's saying, oh, everyone's gonna stop watching because Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson aren't racing for it. All these popular drivers, Dale Earnhardt Jr., they're not gonna watch it. And then after Texas, the ratings grew exponentially. They were like double the ratings for the Phoenix race last year. Everyone was saying that this is the worst chase ever, that this is horrible, that it's screwing over people with good season. They keep saying that they're gonna stop watching it, and yet they're still watching it. People are saying, like, the fights and all that business and all the tight racing and any possibility of anything happening every single week is going to turn off viewers. And yet, the people are loving it. 
Fans are tuning in week in and week out now. This is the best format of the chase ever. Does that mean that I like it? A little bit. I've been an advocate for so long to get rid of the chase and go back to what it was before. But after seeing what happened this year, even when Jimmy Johnson and Joey fucking Magano had a chance to win this championship, I tuned in and watched and I loved every second of it until, until Kevin Harvick won. Then I reveled in self-pity. But, but everything beyond that, it was so... Fan, frickin' tastic. Do it again, NASCAR. Why don't we expand the field to 20 drivers next time? Why don't we make the points even smaller? Why don't we have like, like, 43 points for the winner and second place, and then 42 points for third place and fourth place and 41 for fifth and sixth and so on. <laughs> Why don't we just make it, keep making it even closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and giving everyone an opportunity to win the championship at every corner because that's made for entertainment racing. Entertainment in racing. You know, I don't care if Jeff Gordon should have won the championship this year. I don't care if Jimmy Johnson should only have two championships. This was entertaining. We need to do it again even harder next time. Maybe even going dry. Because that's how good this was. Don't even lubricate it with new changes. Go in dry. This was good. This was good. It took them a while, but I approve of this chase. Because the past three weeks, the past nine weeks, And that's why I'm, like, not angry that the chase isn't going to go away since Ryan Newman and Denny Hamlin lost. This was the second to worst case scenario. And look how happy I am. The second to worst case scenario. And I'm happy with it. NASCAR, whatever it is you've done, if I'm happy with the second to worst possible result of this, then you've done something right, NASCAR. For once, you did something right. If Jeff Gordon had made it in and won the championship, no one would care. But since he didn't, everyone's mad and says that this sucks. What is going on in this TV, man? Oh. I was entertained. I approved. I approved. They did it. They made me like the chase. Some good shit, man. Some good shit over here. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. This TV show scares me. Maybe I really was smoking there, because... That... is not so bonkers crazy. But anyway... I'm infected. I like NASCAR now. Now I'm gonna get fucking cancer. I don't know. But anyway, Ebola. But, um, it's, it's got me. This is good stuff. I, I can't begin to explain how strange it is to be happy with NASCAR for once. Especially in these conditions. I mean, even the truck race. The truck race was good. In fact, 
but I saw those guys going in three wide, someone was behind, trying to make it four wide, I was like, this is good entertainment, this is good for TV, and even though carbon copy of Eric Jones, Daryl Wallace Jr. won, you know, I still was satisfied with the entertainment, wasn't satisfied with the ending, but I was satisfied with the entertainment value of the what I did see. I don't know if I saw the whole thing, I can't remember. I didn't watch a second of the nationwide race. Not because I was working, but because it didn't matter at all. And no one should have watched it. At all. No one. Because you see, no matter how much the chase sucks, you know, and I'm not talking about Elliot right now. I'm bringing it back to the Sprint Cup. If there was no chase, Jeff Gordon, if everything everything happened the way they did over the course of the season, even though there was no chase, which it definitely would not have, because if it weren't for the chase, there would have been no fight at Texas, and no one would have watched Phoenix. So, if by some miraculous odds everything happened the exact same way, even though there was no chase, Jeff Gordon would have been ahead by like 32 points or something coming in to Homestead. So basically he'd have to finish what? Where would he have to finish? Like 30th to lock in, probably even lower than that. He'd probably have to finish like 35th to lock it in. Would you have tuned in to watch that? I wouldn't have. I would have been like, well, so much for that. Well, I hope it goes better next season. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened yesterday which would be Saturday, because I'm uploading this tomorrow, because I still don't have internet. Um, Chase Elliott won the championship before even starting the race. Don't see why anyone in the world would tune in, and I have got to shave so badly like I can... Apparently, Kenseth won that race. Who cares? Must I say it again? Who cares about the nationwide race because it didn't matter for shit? And Kabush and Brad Keselowski were in it. So they were probably going to dominate the whole thing. I don't know what the rest of the running order was because I did not care. Moving on. The fuck up on Logano's pit stop. Now, when I watched that, you know, I saw it happen, and then I didn't know what was going on, why they were taking so long, and then the commentators were going crazy, like, oh no, he screwed up, he screwed up, and I was like, <laughs> because that was the same pit stop that sent Kevin Harvick to the back, and made me think, Okay, maybe Denny has a chance. Uh, that was best case scenario right there. I was hoping that it would start raining or something, and then it just pace around, and Denny Hamlin would have won the championship. Ryan Newman coming second, Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano. That would have been amazing. <laughs> And Jeff Gordon would have won the race, too. So all you fucking Jeff Gordon fans would have been a satisfied kind of with it. Now they'd just be even more angry because then they'd be like, Oh, if Jeff Gordon had been in the thingamajig, then he would have won the championship because... Uh, uh, uh. Don't tell me Ryan Newman didn't deserve to be in there because he was wheel man today. Good God, did you see him driving? Man, he worked his ass through that field. He worked his ass. 
just like Tony Stewart making a statement earlier in the year when he came back from the whatchamacallit, from when he killed the guy. You know, he freaking drove through, he just made a statement, and he was being a badass, and he should have won the race, just like Ryan Newman should have won this race. And I don't even fucking know what I'm saying talking about this, okay? It's... I should go to bed in five minutes so that I don't have to put up with being tired tomorrow. Why the fuck does school exist, even? I mean, I'm a senior getting ready to graduate in what? December, January, February, March, April, May. Five months and eight days. Five months and eight days, and I'm about to graduate is when I graduate. And I'm still sitting here saying, what the fuck does school exist for? But anyway, um, I want to have a little season wrap-up video, but I've kind of really done that here. So, maybe when January or February rolls around, I'll discuss, like, the silly season, who's coming, who's going, and how everything's gonna look when we get to Daytona. When we get to Daytona, where Martin Truex Jr. is going to win the 2015 Daytona 500 because he's fucking badass. So, um, this is my first full season of reviewing NASCAR videos. I think I skipped three or four of them because either A, I didn't care enough, B, I was too pissed, or C, I just didn't want to. So I may have missed three or four races in there, and that's my mistake. That's my mistake. Actually, no, it's the driver's fault for being assholes and having shitty results. Mm hmm Yeah, that's that's the reason. That's the reason. Um, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Um, so, next year, hopefully, I have a full season of videos. What I'm going to try to do is, you know, have notes and all that business. And um, for restrictor plate races, I hope to have a couple of live stream events. I know for a fact that once the Talladega... Um, chase race rolls around. I know for a fact that one's going to be live streamed. So mark your calendars, people. September of next year, if we're lucky, if we live that long. September 2015, October 2015, probably the 25th. October 25th, 2015, probably. Yeah. Mark your calendars. We got a live stream that day. I know for a fact we're going to do that unless I run out of internet again and cry as a result. You know, things could go. What the fuck is this? Things could go anyway. Who knows if I'll even have internet in college. Hopefully I do. Oh god, that would suck. Um. Yeah. So I'll take notes next year. I'll have in-depth discussions about every single race. Hopefully, I still have a job that makes me work on Sundays and miss races all the time. Uh, well, that was an interesting face, but anyway, yeah. That's next year. When Daytona rolls around, I don't know what I'll do with the shootout. I'm, if I'm lucky, we'll have a live stream for the shootout. Hopefully by then I'll have like a laptop so I don't have to move my thingamajig here. And I can recline. What is this? Hey, y'all. If you have Dish Network, go to channel 823. You will... It's a drug-free acid trip. It's an acid-free acid trip. I swear. Just do it now. 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 Um. That's next year. That's next year. Um, um, I was hoping to go to the um, 4th of July weekend Daytona race, the night race. I was hoping that I could get tickets to that because by then I'll be all graduated and stuff. And I can maybe, you know, get myself down there without dying in a fucking car crash. 
Um, I doubt that. But I know I might be able to get down there sans good driving. Um, I could get myself down there. I'm not doubting myself that. But when it comes to driving at cities, oh god. You know, I'm not that bad. Like, the only time that I've driven in cities would be with my grandpa, and he's a little controlling when it comes to driving. He doesn't give very good directions either. So here I am just driving along. He's like, you missed the turn. And I was like, wait, we were supposed to turn? And then he fucking slaps me, and then I call the police and say domestic abuse. And then he takes my phone, throws it out the window, and he's like, bitch, you ain't gonna go do that shit to me. And I'm like, but I called the cops, and now they're going to come to the cell phone, and then they're going to see that it's sitting there, and they're going to think that I'm dead, and then they're going to send in a SWAT team, and then you're going to get arrested, and then, oh my god, and then, uh, that never happened, by the way, but it was close to that. No, it wasn't close to that, but anyway, um, what else is there to say? Hopefully off a season wrap-up video by... Tuesday. I don't know, because I don't work tomorrow, so maybe I'll have an opportunity to talk about things. I'll take notes in study hall of Jayski. But yeah. I hope you've enjoyed that. That psychedelic trip right there. I hope you've enjoyed that for the past half hour. But yeah, um, I think that's about it. So, um, anyway, second to worst case scenario this year. But I'm not mad, amazingly. Jimmy Johnson and Joey Logano did not win, so this is a positive. I still don't like Kevin Harvick, because he's a dick. And 2007 Daytona 500. Um, and yeah, so. If I don't make the one video, see you in February. But I will try, once I get internet again, to make at least a weekly news summary of NASCAR stuff. But, yeah, that I think that's about it. So, thank you all so much for watching this over the course of the year. I know I'm a little bit audacious with the things that I say, but I do that for the entertainment value. And this is the only platform that I can talk about NASCAR stuff. None of my friends watch NASCAR. My bosses don't watch NASCAR. My parents want me to stop watching NASCAR. You know, it's kind of difficult to talk about this kind of thing in great detail when I'm not even around people that I can't. So, that is why I've been making these. And I will continue to be making NASCAR-related video game series, NASCAR-related random videos, um, and everything else that I've been doing up to this date ever since January 25th, 2013. So I will thank you all one more time for an amazing season of NASCAR reviews and the 2014 Brickyard 400 is still rigged. Fuck off, Jeff Gordon.